Hey all, Russ here, RVTV. How you doing? Here at the van. Today is Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. There it is. We need a plan for the van. <laughs> so, I don't know. I've never worked on one with windows. This is actually a passenger van. Um, I don't know. I'm putting thoughts through my head right now. I bought the wood yesterday. I showed you that. But I'm trying to figure out what the heck I want to do with this thing. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on it. That's for sure. There's old silver. Huh? We got some blue sky. Got storm fronts rolling in all week long. So that's kind of holding me up a little bit. I don't want to tear too far into the van with it. It's going to rain on me. But I figured uh, I'd walk you through a few of the things that I have ideas about anyway. So let's check it out. I like my front plate. You know, Arizona, you only have one plate. I got that down at the chamber. The van is pretty decent shape. I mean, it's got some miles on it. It's an older one. I don't know. Uh, it'll be good enough for this year, but but anything I do won't be too permanent. Okay, here's the wood. I'm definitely going to put a wood floor. I'm going to put it right over the existing carpet. And that'll be just fine. That way I can mount right there to the wood. Like, uh, I want to put a little bunk maybe, shelving. I don't know. But I have to have a surface to mount to. So the floor is the first thing. Also, leaving the existing carpet, there's padding under there. That'll help insulate and soundproof it a little bit. And I can use the old bolt holes where the old seats were and maybe drill and uh, self-tap in a couple bolts. It'll be secure. And then I'll put like a rubber mat or something over it. Now check out the headliner here. I mean, there's duct work in there. There's actually a rear air conditioner in this van. When you travel, you can AC it back here, which is good. I don't want to disturb any of that. I'm going to keep it as is. That's also insulated up there. The biggest drawback are the windows. And you got the plastic sides. I'm not going to tear any of that. Right behind there is that air conditioner, the rear air seat. I, I'm not going to touch any of that stuff. I'll have to get creative when I mount uh, shelves or whatever. But the windows are the biggest thing. I got window tint. I got 5% limo tint for the sides and the rear. which well, That'll help knock down the heat. And then right here, I'm going to add curtains, insulated curtains with snaps. Exactly like I did in old, uh, uh, the old motorhome spirit curtains around the back plus tent and they're insulated curtains I already bought uh, those got them up at Walmart I'm gonna cut and fit those with snaps so that'll really knock down a bunch of the heat and make it uh, get privacy at night I'm gonna bunk out and up top I have a ladder rack that I bought for this when I first got the van so I'm going to put that up there, and I will build a little frame and probably a solar panel. So that'll be project number two. First one is getting the floor in and the windows. Then the roof will be the second. Let me go around here, and I'll show you. Let me crawl up in here. Excuse the mess. I fired the maid. <laughs> Unbelievable. I always have a mess. I don't care what I do. Alright. Up here. Right there. I'm going to build a battery box. I'm going to put two AGM batteries right here. I'm going to make a little box. It'll have a shelf on it. The inverter. All that. 
So that's going to be the powerhouse right between the seats. Be a good place for uh, charge of cameras. I mean, in my mind, that's what I see right now. It could change. But this will have to go in as part of the floor. And the shelf will go across here. I'll try not to block the engine cover. And it has to be removable. If I have trouble with the engine, then I have to remove the battery box. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind too. There's the iPad. That's how I control all my cameras. It's with that iPad. Everything, all my new cameras are Wi-Fi. I can see what they're filming. Right there's the dash mount for the GoPro and the dash. And here I'll show you the magnetic mount. There's the magnet mount for the roof. That's a GoPro Hero 7. I have two of them. And it's Wi-Fi so I can watch what that thing's filming off the iPad and control it. Start and stop and all that. All the settings. Pretty cool, huh? So that's where the batteries are going to go. Then over here, these little cubby hole things. I'm just going to keep them. I'm not going to change any of that. I might cover them up a little bit. Right in here I'll put a bunk. You know. Eh, kind of. <laughs> Someone recommended one that folds up. I don't know. I don't know how fancy I want to get. Once again, I want to keep this very cost uh, effective. Very low. I don't want to spend a bunch of money. Then the good old windows. The windows are probably the biggest drawback. Because my other van, it had nothing in it. You could go right to the metal. But also, this is insulated too. It's got insulation up there, so it'll help keep it cool. Plus, when I'm traveling, I can fire up the rear air conditioner and really keep everything cool. So that's kind of the plan so far. <laughs> for the inside start of the van and also I have a ton of stuff left over when I build out the trailer and work I've done like on the motorhomes through the years I've kept a bunch of goodies lighting, wiring stuff I can utilize even up for up on the rack, I already have all that. I'm basically buying wood, screws. Uh, I did order a battery isolator to isolate the house batteries from the engine. I might use that solar panel there. Let me hook this door a second. Wind's really picking up. There's uh, my portable solar. But that's only 80 watts. I'm going to have to go bigger than that. But I already have the controller. There's that. I got other clips and all kinds of electrical. No refrigerator. I'll go with ice chest. When I travel, there's uh, I have two of these. They're called the Breeze 12 volt fans. They work really well. Those are left over from Old Spirit. I've had those for what, four years, three years? Hey, check it out. Here's my new uh, metal detector. Equinox 800. I haven't even had time to take it out of the box yet. Isn't that horrible? I will though. It's a good one. It's so, oh, Mine Lab. It's built by Mine Lab. The reason I got rid of the gold bug was. It was a really good gold detector, but you couldn't do anything else with it. This one, you can look for relics. It's got uh, different style heads. It's also waterproof. Uh, it has a lot more features than that old gold bug. See, you can use it for like coins and relics and gold. It's not cheap either. This That's a really good detector. But anyway, I'm going to use that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you've watched some of my old videos, look at this Wii Boost. This, that's why this thing's never worked. Thing's been broken since new. And I bought it brand new. Them guys would never respond. They'll never buy 
Wilson products. I shouldn't say that. I mean, they probably do. But look at that. They're, the guts are missing in it. <laughs> no wonder it's never worked. I never really noticed that too much. Another RVer about a couple months ago looked at it and said, there's your problem. So, we boost. Yeah. Solar on the trailer. You know this trailer has a 300 watt solar system in it. Fully charged, 13.8. Thing's a little powerhouse here. I got three AGM batteries down there and there's an inverter set up. Which I might rob a couple batteries out of this for the van for the summer and just leave one battery in here. Because I don't want to buy a bunch more batteries just for the van. Once again, I'm really trying to keep the cost low. I don't want to spend too much on all this stuff. And, you know, the trailer is nice. I love this thing. I ain't getting rid of it. I utilize it like an office in a storage. <laughs> but everything's going to stay the same in here. This is my mobile office. I will never get rid of it. But the van's gonna be fun to travel in. I can make short jaunts or even longer ones, who knows? Without hauling this trailer all over Kingdom Come. Motorhome I'm keeping, nothing's gonna change. Except the van's gonna get built out. It'll be fun, this is gonna be a fun project. I'm really looking forward to it. Someone left a comment saying, I'm happier with the project absolutely right so but once again first thing is the floor and the battery box second will be the rack up top and then we'll go from there then we'll we can add all the little bells and whistles all right well there's a plan for the van so far <laughs> This is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. I'm going to run over to the gold shop real quick. Got the gold show starting Friday. Talk soon.